Hey everyone, Tim here with your 1245 Prayer Life Devotional for today. It is Monday, November 29th. Say, I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving break and holiday. And thanks for taking a moment to join us here uh, at Lord of Life for our prayer life where we spend time in God's Word praying and reflecting uh, together. It is also the season of Advent. We kicked that off this past Sunday, yesterday. Uh, And so uh, welcome to the season of Advent as we are waiting, uh, waiting for Christmas and Christ's arrival. Uh, For today, there are three readings that you can read on your own. Uh, The first one is Psalm 90. Now I'm going to read the first uh, few verses for you. I'm going to read 1 through 6, but uh, you can read the entire psalm. So that is Psalm 90. Uh, The second reading is from Numbers chapter 17, verses 1 through 11. And the third one comes from 2 Peter uh, chapter 3. And so feel free to write these down or revisit this video later on. uh, And feel free to read these when you get a chance today or later on this week. If you have a Bible, feel free to open up again to Psalm 90. I will be starting at verse number 1. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn us back to dust and say, Turn back, you mortals. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. You, you sweep them away, you sweep them away, they are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed, in the evening it fades and withers. Here ends the reading. So I don't know about you, um, but I'm going to throw this question out there. Is it too early to be decorating for Christmas? I don't know. Some people don't decorate until it's Christmas Day. Uh, I found myself yesterday decorating, pulling out all the ornaments, the Christmas tree, and uh, decorating my house uh, for Christmas. And while I was doing that, um, I was thinking about... uh, just the things that that I have to put out. A lot of them were gifts uh, from my grandma, my grandparents, my parents, as they kind of passed down uh, some things. Uh, And as I was setting up, I also came across the family Bibles uh, that are over 100 years old um, that that I have and have on display. And as I read this uh, reading this morning, preparing for uh, for our devotional time, I was kind of struck by even the first verse. Lord, you have been our dwelling pa- place. You have been our dwelling place in all generations. And I just think back um, to my past generations, my ancestors, uh, my family, um, and what this time meant for them. Uh, as they were growing up, uh, you know, 50 years, 100 years or so on uh, before getting ready for Christmas uh, this time. And also, what uh, what this book and, and these, these stories, these life lessons uh, and their faith meant to them uh, as they went about their days. And how they have passed that on to me from generation to generation. And then, so I just feel very incredibly blessed uh, to to have the family Bible. Uh, and for Christmas, I do open very gingerly to the Christmas story. And I've read that the last couple of years since I've had that Bible in my possession. Um, and I just think about how many people have maybe touched the Bible, read read the stories. And then you think about, you know, I was just holding on to a book that's 100 years old or so or more, um, but these stories have been written for, for much, much longer, and they've been passed on uh, from generation to generation. The other thing that really th- stuck out to me is uh, verse number four, and it says, For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. And I just think about in God's eyes how you know how this could really be true um, for a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday, and how God's been around since since the beginning, 
Uh, and for us, we go about each and every day, and some days are longer than others. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, it, it is not this long time. Um, and, uh, and so I just, yeah, those are a few things that really stood out to me. Uh, from this reading and I just hope that as we enter into the season of Advent and this Christmas season uh, we cherish these stories that we're going to be reading together in this time uh, refocusing our hearts and our minds as we wait uh, for Christ's arrival and uh, that Christmas uh, story and the birth of Jesus that will be coming uh, but we got a little ways to go uh, with that so just a few things that I want you to reflect on today. Uh, what are some things that you are very thankful for that have been passed on to you uh, from generation to generation, uh, especially during this time? Are there traditions that your family has or or maybe that you do with friends or neighbors? Um, and, yeah, what, what are you thankful for um, during this time? I know we just had Thanksgiving, and you spent a lot of time thinking about what you're thankful for or grateful for. Um, but maybe on this day, think about that. And um, if you have any traditions or, or anything that you'd like to share with us here at the church, feel free to drop it in our chat. Can I pray for us as we wrap up our time together? Let us pray. Dear God, I want to thank you for the blessing of today, the opportunity to dive into your word. I pray that it uh, nourishes our soul uh, as we go about our days living for you. I pray that you continue to guide our steps. You open our eyes, our hearts, and our ears to this season, the season of waiting, but the season of Christmas. It may be a, a time where it can fill us as we await the birth of Jesus and the arrival. I pray that you continue to watch over us, um, you keep us all healthy and safe as we're maybe traveling uh, in the coming weeks, uh, gathering with family, friends, uh, and be with those that maybe are not able to gather with those that they love. Give them peace, give them joy, give them love. And God, I just pray that you hear whatever else is on our hearts or on the hearts of those that are listening today. Um, in your name I pray. Amen. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great Monday and a great rest of your week, and I'll see you again soon.